What is going on guys and welcome to a very special episode featuring Atlanta Motorsports Park. Okay guys, coming up I'm going to give you a walkthrough of uh, the A&P course here and kind of walk you through it step by step, give you a little bit of info. So you're coming off the, uh, the, the last turn there, you're coming up, start finish line, pass it straight uphill, straight to an off camber left, very very tight, you're full throttle and then over this big hill, breaking it into this horseshoe, you go straight downhill straight back uphill. Now your pit outs to your right, come around. This is a long left-handed turn. Straight downhill, picking up speed. You run through all the gears, especially if you're on your Grom. And then you come break hard into this long straight braking turn. It's very easy to run wide here back into these chicanes, get you a quick shift back on the apex, come into this, another uphill turn, you press the top, stay way wide, come in, hit this apex, and you're straight back downhill. Coming in, another hard braking zone, you could probably go down two gears here, opens back up, into the straightaway, get tucked in, and you do it all over again track is absolutely insane. I can't even begin to describe the epicness of this track. So just a little uh, information. It's a 17 turn track, road course style. It is the only track in North America, I believe built to FIM F1 standards, don't hold me to it, but I'll have all the, uh, the actual correct information below if I do mess it up. So much elevation change. It is a ridiculous track. It's normally open to carters and they have a world-class cart, cart racing organization come through and the main goal here I'm gonna be showing this video all over social media is to get the word out so that way we can have mini bike races here and there's a couple ways we can do it the main goal is to obviously have our own track day here because that would be insane. Pay X amount of dollars, come and have a track day to yourself, kind of like you would on a bigger bike. But we're probably gonna start out with races that are held on the weekends, mainly on Saturdays. Um, and the way it's set up is you have two sessions of practice, you have a qualifying, you have a heat race, and then you actually have the race. Uh, a little bit of runoff, it's good to have it. It's good to have it. Elevation, off camber, this, it's a roller coaster. That's, I don't even know how to describe it, but they have an F1 lighting system. Uh, you'll see that little panel to your right. Uh, another one right there. Plenty of runoff because 
I don't know if you noticed on a couple of those turns I'd run a little wide and it would be kind of sketchy but this track has multiple configurations too I'm not too sure why anybody would want to run it likewise but you've got turn in points you have apex markers and again plenty of runoff apex more F1 lighting systems but this track another one you've got two you've got flag guys all over the place I, I'm speechless you guys need to go to amp.com which is technically atlantamotorsportspark.com go on there you can find all the carding information now as far as the pricing goes we haven't worked anything out yet I need guys to commit I need guys saying hey I want to come out and race and you don't even have to treat it like a race treat it like a practice day because this track it's going to take more than one day to even figure out but if you guys are serious about coming out, this is a world-class facility. And I'm very honored to even be a part of this, this organization, to even be welcome to do this. I'm going to have a couple more runs throughout the day, and you guys can see this sign says break. And I'm telling you right now, the angle doesn't look it, but this is straight up and down. And I, that was third gear and I'm struggling. I can't stress to you enough how important it is that we get a mini bike class here. This track is fun, it's fast, it's challenging, it's technical, it's a lot of fun. It's got so many different elevation changes. You're, you're downshifting two gears coming into some of these turns. On an XR, I know that's a little bit more common, but on a Grom, I've never been on a track to where this happens. Um, 17 turns, this is almost a mile of track. Like this is next level mini bike, just, it's on a whole nother level. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm literally speechless. But I mean, look at that, that goes downhill, this goes straight uphill and then it comes to a blind off camber right hand like I can't even put into words and I mean sure if you run off you've got all this I don't recommend it because this is paint and paint and tires make for a slippery time they've even have this like Daytona style cut through like make it even more challenging this turn is very scary because if you run off, you hit tires immediately. <laughs> but look at the grid. You can have about 20 plus bike. Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 30. You can have 36 on this, 36 bikes on this track at one time. So guys, let me know if you want to do this. It's such a crucial key ingredient. I need everybody's support. So guys, let's make this happen. I can't describe to you how fun this track actually is and how much of a blast you're going to have. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you at the track. And until then, we'll see you then.